Hi everybody, Bill1911 here. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about cleaning kits. Now, cleaning kits, there are as many different types of cleaning kits as you can imagine. I mean, there's just dozens of different ones. You've got fairly fancy ones like this Ruger cleaning kit. Um, let me turn around so you can actually read the label on it. Okay, and this will clean uh, most of the common firearms that are out there, okay? It has bore brushes, it has jags, it has thimbles, it has cleaning rod, it has everything you need, it has patches, okay? The only thing that it doesn't come with this kit is cleaning solvent and um, gun oil, okay? Those are the only things that don't come in this kit. Everything else is here. Um, there are lots of things that you can buy that are nice to have, okay? For example, cleaning brushes like these, okay? Um, they're great, but essentially they're not much different than a toothbrush, which this is one of those cleaning brushes here, but if you look at it, it's not all that different from your toothbrush. So if you have an old worn out toothbrush that you're not going to use anymore, uh, it'll do a very fine job and do the same job that this does. The only difference is that this has, on the small end, it has some very narrow bristles on it to get into smaller crevices and spaces, okay? So that's about all that's different on this. Um, I clean a lot of different guns. I clean them for myself. I clean them for other people. Um, I have a kit here that has all of the different size jags from 17 caliber, the little itty bitty tiny thing, which requires a special rod, by the way, all the way up to 45 caliber. So uh, this covers almost everything I need to cover. All right. So the reality is, let's talk about what you actually need to clean your gun. All right. We're going to set this guy aside. What do we need? We need a cleaning rod. It does not have to be this fancy. Okay, this is a very nice cleaning rod. It's from a company called Clean Bore. Um, I like it. I like the handle. I like the way it twists. I, I like everything about this little rod, except it's a little bit short. On guns that have longer barrels, I have a little trouble with it. All right, it's because it's too short. So, um, it works though on almost every pistol I clean. There are very few that have longer barrels that are a problem. Um, you're going to, if you're shooting 22 caliber, you're definitely going to need a bore brush, okay? Um, really, 22 is 22 long, uh, rimfire is the only thing I really use these bore brushes on, and the reason why is because. Uh, around the barrel of a 22 happen to have one here around this barrel area okay we're right after the chamber and where the, the rifling starts a donut of lead builds up okay and it gets impregnated into the sides of the barrel so you put your powder solvent in there and you put this brush in there and you work it through a few times and you'll break up that that thing they call the dreaded donut okay um, 22s are made with lead bullets okay they're also made with a very fast burning gunpowder so what happens is the tail end of the bullet next to the powder charge is very hot and it gets very soft and it's easy for it to be deposited inside that barrel area. So you're going to need a bore brush. You're going to, at minimum, need one of these little thimbles, which is kind of like a, the eye of a needle, a big needle eye. Okay. And you're going to need cleaning patches. Okay. Uh, 22 caliber requires a smaller patch, and I'm going to tell you why. If you use the larger patches, the 30 caliber patches or the 45 caliber patches, you run into a little problem. And that is that as you push it into the barrel of the gun, the 
patch wraps around and goes past this thinned out part here. Now this thinned out part is to allow relief for the barrel so it can get past. But when it goes past that, it gets onto this thicker part and it just becomes simply too thick to go through the barrel. Okay, So once it overlaps like that all the way down, you're not going to get that patch through that barrel. So if you don't have any 30 caliber brush or patches, or excuse me, 22 caliber patches, simply take a pair of scissors and cut this into quarters. That's going to give you pieces about one inch by one inch. And that's what you need for a 22 caliber patch. All right. Um, I like to use jags. They're not strictly necessary if you use a bore brush. But they do a much better job of drying the barrel after you've after you've done your your uh, cleaning solvent okay and you've scrubbed the barrel with the brush you're gonna have a little bit of the solvent left in the barrel and some particulates in other words pieces of lead and powder so this jag the patch wraps around this and this is engineered to be uh, to the right size so that it's an extremely tight fit to go through that barrel and it dries everything out of the rifling grooves it dries everything out of the lands and pushes out any of those particulates that were left in the barrel so these are really nice to have strictly speaking you can live without them but these things work so darn well that I pretty much use this and only this on larger calibers. The only time I use the bore brush is on the 22, and that's because of that dreaded donut that we just talked about. So you're going to need a gun oil. Um, I always recommend using an oil that's specifically formulated for guns. The reason why is that some guns have plastic parts in them. Some plastic parts uh, can be... Um, impacted negatively by certain types of oils so these oils are um, specifically formulated for the plastics that are used in guns so truthfully I've never heard of anybody having a problem nor have I personally seen anybody that's had a problem if they use a product like WD-40 I've never seen that become a problem um, that doesn't mean it won't happen. Um, I used to work for a while repairing mechanical clocks in schools. And we had a guy put some oil on some plastic bushings that were in one of those clocks. And they swelled up and locked that clock up solid. So you can damage plastics with oil, believe me. So use an oil that is formulated for your gun. Now... I would even go so far as to say use an oil that is recommended by the manufacturer of the firearm. You're also going to need a bore solvent. Now this is a military bore solvent. Um, I bought it military surplus from a military surplus store. And I'm familiar with the product. It works very well and it was very inexpensive. And since I clean a lot of guns, very inexpensive fits real well for me. Now, you can get with these kits, these cleaning kits, believe me, you can get overly fancy. I'll show you an example. Okay, this is a kit made by Clean Bore. And you can see it's got all kinds of stuff in it. Um, you can use it for a lot of different things, but you can, uh, for a lot of different guns, but you don't really need anything this complicated. You can just do it with the, with the items that we mentioned. So that's about all there is to cleaning kits. There is one other thing that I wanted to talk about. Again, I use a lot of gun patches. As you can see, I make my own. And um, all I do is buy double nap white flannel and I cut it into two inch by two inch squares. And that's, that's pretty much all I use. Okay. Um, 
patches they're not horrendously expensive but if you're going to clean your guns a lot you can always make your own um, this like I said it's simply double nap flannel in other words it's kind of got fuzzy on both sides of the patch okay instead of fuzzy on one side and no fuzz on the other side so that makes a very good gun patch it's very absorbent it works very well and that's pretty much all you really need uh, an old toothbrush will work fine um, you will need a cleaning rod you'll need a cleaning brush and and a jag is extremely helpful and you'll need cleaning patches a bore solvent and gun oil and that pretty much covers what you absolutely need all right have a great day hey if you've enjoyed this video if it's been helpful to you and entertaining please don't forget to hit the like button and by all means subscribe and when you're done with that, come and visit us at AskBill1911.com.